Yeah. Okay. Nobody's here yet. I'm not even here yet. We're notifying viewers that you're alive. Oh, hello. I'm gathering supplies. Greet people. Hi, people. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's really delayed. Um, someone will have to tell me if the, if the music's too loud. Yeah, please tell us if the music's too loud. I can turn it off if they wish. Say hi when you guys come on. It's Cold Heart Kate and Rachel at the Shimmer Room. Woo, woo. We're in a weird state this week. This week. I'm grumpy and Rachel's tired because she just went to the gym. Kate's going to yell at everybody the whole time. Oh my god. Big mad. I don't understand drivers around here. Around here? Well, period. I'm gathering supplies for galaxy nails. Yeah, my nine-year-old niece is obsessed with space and she told me she wanted space nails today. So, I'm doing galaxy nails for her. Hi, Presley. She's lucky she's cute because she's a little sassy. We're doing galaxy nails today. We're gonna start with some dark blue and some pigment powders and some glitter and just go nuts. Just go. orange instead of pink. The pink is just a tiny bit. But it's me we're talking about. Oh, I'm glad Rachel's taught you so much. She's taught me a lot too on how to be nice to people, but obviously that Kate doesn't work. struggles <laughs> with that. Prepare yourselves because she was so grumpy when she came in. So they she's screwed up my Starbucks order. <laughs> And then she caught every red light on the way here. She was still like 15 minutes early for her appointment, but you know. I'm usually like a half an hour. <laughs> She's usually here before <laughs> I get here. When I pulled in the parking lot today, there were other cars here. I was like, none of these are cold heart Kate. What's happening? Um, so we're going to do galaxy nails today. Um, if the music is too loud, tell me and I'll turn it down. I can't. I'm always concerned about like how you guys are hearing things especially because like my face is like right I was like can you hear me breathing heavily can you hear me chewing gum <laughs> such a mess you guys are very quiet today what's everybody doing on Saturday morning is that Saturday morning where you are? <laughs> it might not be Saturday morning. Sometimes I don't think it's Saturday morning here. <laughs> yeah. Baby shower? Ooh. Is it your baby or? You're going to someone else's baby shower or it's your baby shower? I want a dog. I want a dog too. Cleaning sucks. Working sucks. I'll be doing homework. <laughs> Trying to wake can, up. Can kids be on your live watching? Um, yes, I will watch my language. Viewer discretion is still advised. Yeah. We we are not great at censoring ourselves. The Little Mix concert is is Little Mix okay. like that's the name of the performer, I'm assuming like a rapper. Does that make me sound really old and out of touch? No, because I have no idea who the hell it is. JK Broski. Uh, okay, cool. I don't know what I have that a means. 10 month old Norwegian elk hound and a three month old black lab. Ooh, baby puppies. I love puppies. I'm not doing acrylics. I do uh, gel ma manicures. CND shellac is in gelish, is what we're using today. Thank you. Dogs throwing up. 
I got woken up this morning by my cat screaming. So <laughs> I got woken up this morning because I rolled over in bed and I kicked the shit out of the soup. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the hell? I'm like, oh, sorry. I didn't know you were here. He deserves it sometimes. <laughs> Soup and I have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> hey, Hi, Shelby. Shelby. Not too late. We just started. It's all about your prep, Haley. It's, it's prep. That's why it's lifting. So make sure that nail plate is super dehydrated and clean. Yeah, the prep takes a really long time to master. It, like, it, there's a lot to it. It's not just, like, lightly buffing your nails and, you know, wiping them with alcohol or acetone or whatever. You really have to make sure you get all of that dead skin off the nail plate. It's stuff that you can't even see. And, you know, make sure you dehydrate it because our nails and skin are full of natural oils. So people will ask me all the time, like, well, why do her nails look so dry? Like, because I'm dehydrating the shit out of that. Like, you have to. You have to make sure they're super, super clean and dehydrated before you start gel application. Shelby, we're doing galaxy nails today. My nine-year-old niece is obsessed with space. And she, I was showing her some of Rachel's TikToks without the swearing. Oh. And, um... <laughs> It's so bad. And um, she said she wanted me to have space nails. So. Um, so I just saw someone asking about like discoloration. Why would oh, gel yeah. polish be changing colors? Um, it probably is just staining. It's something that you're touching. Some top coats are more porous than others. So I would imagine it's. It happens with, you know, like makeup or sunscreen or bug spray. Those um, make them more susceptible. But even like hand sanitizers or cleaning products, there's something you're touching that's staining. Um, lots of times when we wear like dark clothing, like denim or leggings, the pigments in the dyes on the clothing will stain. That's super common. Um, so you just have to be careful what you're touching. You can try swiping it with alcohol. Sometimes that will get rid of the staining. But the top coats can be really porous, so if it's already on there, it's kind of hard to get rid of. Am I the only female in America who does not wear leggings? I mean, I wear them to the gym. Well, yeah, I wear them to the gym. It's like the only place I wear leggings. My nails right now are nail color. <laughs> that's, that's what color I have. Rachel's oh, are mine are yellow. Mine, I posted a video about mine la yesterday. Um, the brand is Artistic Color Gloss. The shade is wild. It's like a bright pastel yellow. I've never actually seen. So it's oh, funny because I've had it. It's white. I've had this for like probably over a year um, and no one ever chooses it. I think the bottle, like you can see better, like at the back of the bottle, like the, the bottles bottle will peach. like, like, yeah, they fade. It's really bright in my room. But yeah, it's called Wild by Artistic Color Gloss. I really like the color. But like nobody was choosing it. And I was like, it's so cute. So I put it on and then two people chose it yesterday because they saw it on someone else, you know? <laughs> so mom jeans are the comfiest. I live in high-waisted button fly jeans. <laughs> that is my life. Ugh, we got to deal with my father-in-law tonight. <laughs> We're going to dinner. You do know that this is on the internet, right? Yeah, he doesn't really know. How to use the <laughs> Where are you going to dinner? Essex two. The hell is that? Just seafood place oh. in Barbara. <laughs> Where the hell is that? Uh, uh, out towards forty. Like, oh, okay. Like you know where the statue emporium is? No. You've never been to Ocala that way? No. Oh Why? God, Why would I? Drive. No, okay. that sounds that sounds bad. <laughs> they have New England seafood. Mm. Hi, Sally McGuire. Hi. Hi. Um, I definitely wear high waisted jeans too. Like I don't know if they're mom jeans because like I'm still a millennial, so it's like mostly skinny jeans because I feel like. I don't Anything skinny. other than skinny jeans, like, makes me look fatter. Like, they're slouchier. I don't know. Well, just make sure that they're tight enough. I suck my, my gut into 
Yeah, you gotta get it all uh, tucked into the. Also, random question. Hi! I haven't seen you in so long. What's the best nail glue for a split nail? Super glue. <laughs> I mean, nail glue is pretty much nail glue. Um, very similar to super glue. I think it's all like cyanoacrylate. So, I mean, this is the one I use. I personally like brush on glues. This is the one I use. I think it's linked in my bio. Um, it's just like a more convenient applicator. So I use, I use that. And I also, when I am using that, I like to use this glue dryer. This is also linked in my bio. It's a spray, like an aerosol spray, and it dries the glue instantly. So you don't have to like wait for it to dry and have it like run all over the place. So you should definitely get that. How do you remove gel polish? Soak it with acetone. Yeah, I removed um, Cold Heart Kate's gel polish off camera like before we got on the live because we would just be like sitting here for 10 minutes waiting but I use 100% acetone wrap it up with some cotton and some foil let it sit for 10 minutes um, and then push off anything that's loose you can file the top like file the top coat away if your polish is harder to soak off um, just be really careful not to file into your natural nail plate um, so push off what's loose file a little bit wrap them back up if you have to Mama Tamelia said she misses getting her nails done by you. Oh my God, she's five months old. Oh my gosh. I know, I haven't seen you in so long and I knew it was because you were having a baby. Baby Levi. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. I miss you. Total summer color you have on. Yes, it is a summer color. It's too bright for my life. Yeah, Cold Heart Kate is, you know, she goes dark, like her cold, dead heart. So, you guys, my dream house from when I was a kid just came up for sale um, up where I come from. and In Narnia. It, Narnia, yeah. They call it the castle on the lake. Like, it's been my dream house since I, since I was probably, like, five. Aww. And it's literally this gorgeous Victorian home, but I've never seen the inside of this house. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they posted it for sale, and I was so excited. I mean, because I can't afford it. It's $1.3 million. I was just going to ask, what is the list price? But I went to look at the pictures of the inside. I'm so disappointed. Really? It's Barbie pink from oh, no. ceiling to floor. Every fucking room. Flipping room. Sorry, I forgot there's a child on here. Your discretion advised. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe ask your parents if you're allowed to watch. I cannot censor myself. When I upload these lives to YouTube, I always put like 18 and up on them. <laughs> Just because it's me. Um, well, that's really sad. That you're like disappointed in your dream house. Well, I, I mean, I guess it's good because it's not like you're gonna buy it. So like, I yeah. I would be happy to be disappointed in it. <laughs> and I mean, you're asking that much money, and I understand it's a Victorian style home, and that was the thing in the Victorian days. But who the hell is gonna buy a house that's ceiling to floor in Barbie pink? How long does it take to remove and do a new set? About forty five minutes. Cold Heart Kate knows the answers to all my questions. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really mad about that. Like, I that's what Charlotte and I were talking about when she started seeing the Barbie yeah. girls. <laughs> Hi! We are located in Daytona, Florida. I love Jeffree Star, but his house is like that too. Yes, I love Jeffree Star. I love watching his videos, like super inspiration, makeup god, but I can't deal with his house. Are, do people still hate Jeffree Star? Like, is he still like a problem or has he like apologized and been uncanceled? I have no idea. <laughs> I used to love watching his videos. But I know, like, he's he's said some problematic things. I don't really know the details. Is he still a problem? I don't know. Nobody said anything. I don't like I don't think I like him anymore. Um, I just like, like his 
attitude, like the way he says things, he's so freaking funny. But yeah, I'm not sure like why, why he got like canceled to begin with. He lives in my town now. Is it Montana? Doesn't he live in Montana? He has two houses. He still has a house in Calabasas. Mm -hmm. James Charles has a lot of hate right now for being gross with minors. I've heard some stuff about that too. Like I don't know details, but it's like he sends inappropriate messages to minors, right? Which is a big problem. Yes. I was never like into James Charles, so I don't really know much about him. Tom Holland. That person's getting married Tom Holland. Honestly, I didn't hear anything about him anymore. A lot of people call him uh, irrelevant now. Good morning. Hi. Wyoming. Wyoming. Okay. Same thing, right? <laughs> I want to visit Wyoming so bad. Like, I just love mountains and woods and outside like i don't like florida i hate florida <laughs> it's too I hot mean, here <laughs> i love florida i'm about this life i'm a florida girl i'm inviting y'all to me and tom's wedding oh thanks <laughs> thanks <laughs> if it's in florida we'll go <laughs> my jill um it depends i usually can go to i come every two weeks but most, yeah, most of my clients have standing appointments every two weeks, and most people do really well with that. Some like to stretch it out to three or four. It depends a lot on, like, what you're doing with them. Like, if you're a picker. Like me. <laughs> if you want them off, they will be picked up. Like, it's not, it's not hard to get them off, obviously. But most of my clients last until they come back for their next appointment, which is anywhere from two to four weeks. Aww, Kate's nails were completely intact today, but I soaked them off for, off camera for before we started. Part. They were all on. They were all on, but I picked <laughs> out some of them. <laughs> you did good. I pick out my cuticles. I just started my express classes this week, so I've been a little stressed out. So that's why my cuticles are all gross. Is this Paramore? No, this is Olivia Rodrigo. Oh. But yeah, people were talking about how it does sound like misery business, right? Yeah. yeah. No, she's like young, right? She's like, I don't know. she's new and young. I don't know. I'm too old. Oh, here we go. It's starting. What's starting? My swearing. Oh, like the, the manicure, probably. Like the, uh, the fun part. Oh, the fun part. We're done with the prep. My bottle of base coat is really, really low, but I am, I put it sideways Jeez. so I can get everything out of it. I'm so cheap. Like I use every last drop out of a bottle before I open a new one. Um, but base coat, you really need like the tiniest amount anyway. So I kind of like when the bottle gets this low because it keeps you from like putting too much on. Like you really want to like use a tiny bit and like scrub it into the nail plate. I have a small nail and I have a gel polish that I do and sometimes it lasts really long. Well, that's really good. Like the longer you can get out of it, the better. I like my standing two-week appointments, though. Um, I call Rage my underpaid therapist. Hell yeah. So. That's the best part of this job. Like, yeah, I like doing nails, too. But, like, I just like talking to all my clients and, like, hearing about their lives and, you know. Our life be like said. I'm so glad to see I'm not the only one that uses the bottle that way. <laughs> yes. Someone, like. Someone was not happy about it on one of my videos because it was one where I was, like, doing this with the color. Like, I was really scraping it. So I had the tiniest bit on the nail plate. And I was, like, really, like, scrubbing it in and kind of moving it around. And she was, like, annoyed by that. And I'm like, look, I don't know if you know how much these bottles cost, but I'm going to use every last drop. So, like, if you don't like that, <laughs> I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> you have a whole nother. I don't know why I closed it. Um, I was reading this comment about nail school. Told me not I to know. know about personal. Yeah, girl, they don't want you to do it. I, I might be completely unprofessional, but it works for me. Tips to prevent peeling. Um, good prep. Good prep. Yeah. <laughs> Dehydrate the fuck out of your nails. Um, there are prep videos in the nail how tos playlist. If you want to check that out, I think it says nail nail how to videos or something like that. There's gum chewing is in the mic. 
Real sorry about that. Somebody said love you so much, <laughs> but the gum chewing right in the mic. Okay, girl. <laughs> I'll work on it. <laughs> Nail time equals gossip time. Yes. For sure. For sure. And yes, it is cool, Tarky. Can you do true crime right now? No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't I don't have anything prepared. Like I when I do the true crime videos, like they are cases for the most part, unless it's one that like someone has commented asking me to do, um, and I have to look it up. Um, so that happens sometimes that I'm like researching the case right before I record it. Most of them are cases that I know about and I've heard about, but I wouldn't have all of those specific details like ready to go unless I researched it again first. So I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a case prepared right now. It takes some prep to do those. Um, yes, she does like the ND. I do. I like D&D colors. I don't like their base and top coat. Um, so I will use D&D colors, but I still use my um, C&D shellac base coat and top coat. These are my all-time favorite base and top coat um, for shiny. This is a glossy top coat. For matte, because I just saw someone ask, this is my favorite matte top coat. This is the Luxa Velveteen matte top coat. It's super, super matte. It's a no wipe formula but it still soaks off really nicely. Okay, guys, let's go with fun questions. Cold Heart Cake gets super annoyed when you... I do. Just, when people just ask nail questions. Like, um, I like fun questions. The nail questions are fun for me, guys, just for the record. Do you do Biad? I do not. I don't know what that is. It's Builder in a Bottle. It's oh. a, a Builder gel. Okay. I don't. I I do just straight up gel polish on my clients' natural nails. Where do you get your polishes? I get most of my polishes from a local wholesale nail supplier. Like I actually physically go shopping um, at a supplier in Orlando that you have to be licensed to go to. It's a wholesale nail supplier. Um, but some of the brands... I buy like directly from the brand on their websites, like the gel bottle. Um, you also need a license to like purchase those from their websites, but most of them I like, you know, physically go and buy. Do you like fried chicken? I I like fried chicken, yeah. I like food. <laughs> <laughs> um, what gel polish do you recommend, Sandy Shellac? Yeah, Good if you job, have so. if you have a license. I recommend C&D Shellac all the way, especially their base and top coat. If you don't have a license, Gelish is a really good one, and it's available to the public. Where are you located? Daytona Beach. If you had to pick one nail design for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, for me, I would do solid nails with no design because that's what I do all the time anyway. But Cold Heart Kate maybe can answer that question in a more fun way. <laughs> I would do probably a textured glitter. Yeah. Because that's me. Okay, fun questions. How many tattoos do you have? Um, Cold Heart Kate, actually. So for me, for Rachel, I have one tattoo. Um, Cold Heart Kate has multiple tattoos. I and on our, 11. on our last live uh, two weeks ago, she did like a little tattoo tour. Did I? Yes. Um, I don't know if you showed us all of them, but you showed oh, us no, a lot I of them. I can't show you guys. <laughs> um, and that video, the whole thing is uploaded to my YouTube. So at the end of that video, you see like all of the tattoos that she was nice enough to show us. I think I have 11 or 12. I'm not sure. Dang girl. Um, how long have y'all been friends? Like three, eight, four years almost. Yeah. Um, Cold Heart Kate started coming to me to get her nails done. Like when she moved to Florida from Narnia. And we've been inseparable ever since. I wouldn't say inseparable. The soup gets in the way. Oh, my gosh. He doesn't like us playing together. I don't think that's true. Uh, Beatles polish? No. I have never used Beatles polish. Um, any embarrassing stories? I don't get embarrassed, really, so... I told, I definitely told an embarrassing story, maybe not the last live, but a couple lives ago. Um, I got to think of more. I know I have more. I'm embarrassed like constantly. Like I'm literally always embarrassed. So I know I do embarrassing things, but I can't 
think of any more examples. My favorite tattoo. I'd say it's probably the one on my wrist that Rachel's painting right now. Um, Just this one. It's upside down, but. Um, so it's a semicolon. I got my best friend committed suicide a few years ago. And the blue watercolor is PTSD awareness because he had severe PTSD. What's y'all dream car? Um, I don't know if I have a dream car. Um, I really want a new car. I've been like really wanting one for a while, but I've just talked myself out of it. Um, but I was like about to pull the trigger. I like SUV. Maybe I should like actually show your nails. Go ahead and put that one on the line. I'm like filming your hand. Oh. Um. Uh, Cold Heart Kate just ordered her dream car, right? Well, I ordered my dream car that I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even afford it. <laughs> um, I just ordered a 2022 Bronco, which will be in next year. <laughs> so maybe it'll be 2023 when I get it. Um, I would have to say my dream car would be a, and please send me one, a Mustang Shelby Super Snake. So Ford. I'm a Ford girl. Please send me one. <laughs> <laughs> Cold Heart Kate's looking for sponsorships. Yeah. Ford. Her DMs are open. <laughs> my DMs <laughs> um i didn't say this blue what is the name of it i can't read it baby it's cold outside Burr. baby it's bold outside sorry it's not focusing Burr. baby it's bold outside by jellish music we listen to um i love classic rock i always have um i like country music i like I like pop music, like top 40. I don't often hear new music. It's so like all my playlists are like old um, because when I'm in the car, I either am listening to podcasts or audiobooks or something murder related. <laughs> so I'm like never listening to music like in the car. So everything I listen to is old. Um, I basically listen to anything except for the new shit. I'm really into 90s. Right now, my Pandora station is Spice Girls Radio. Oh, my God. <laughs> so my niece and I are having a good time with the, the 90s music. Um, we did the movies last time. I really feel like I had, like, a cassette tape of the Spice Girls. Or maybe it was, like, one of the first CDs that I had ever bought. Um, neither one of us have kids, and we don't really want kids. <laughs> um, do you also have those clients who wants to tell you how to do the nails? I don't, actually. I'm super lucky. My clients are all, like, well, they all have been with me for a long time. I feel like you... Like, I, I don't take new clients anymore right now. I might start again in the future. But um, so, like, everyone I have is a, is someone I know. Um, but, yeah, I've I've had that happen. Like, you'll get a new client and they're kind of like that. And I usually, like, I'm able to weed those people out. Like, we just don't click. Our personalities don't mesh. And, like, I don't take bookings from them again. <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> I have crazy veins in my hand. Like, that one in. I have old people hands. <laughs> you do not have old people hands. I really do. You don't. If you guys could see. Kate is doing. scrolling with her nose right now. I'm, I'm having a hard time. We are doing galaxy nails today for my niece. Um, whoever just said that the nail polish is not dry. We did talk about that a few minutes ago with the base coat. I will use the polish until every last drop is gone. This is not one of those. This polish, the consistency is a little bit thinner and it tends to run everywhere. And Cold Heart Kate, if you guys notice, very narrow nails, very narrow. So I have a tendency to 
flood the sidewalls of her nails. So I'm using the tiniest bit of polish on the brush because it gives me more control. But yes, you will see times that I am really scraping the bottom of the bottle and I will do that because the polish is expensive and I'm gonna use every last drop of it before I open a new bottle. People are <laughs> loving my nails. Uh, not my nails, my veins. <laughs> I have power veins. Like I go get blood drawn all the time and they love me there. Guilty pleasure, potato chips. Ooh, I love carby, salty snacks. Yeah, french fries. I love potatoes. I mean, wine is a guilty pleasure for sure. Vodka. <laughs> See, I'm like getting this polish everywhere. Don't mind and me. this one's making super a mess. pigmented. It is, and it like gets everywhere. But we love it. See, way too much. Too much. Too much. I'm gonna scrape the brush off a little Dude, bit. Dude, you know what I could go for right now, and I think I'm gonna text Dan and see what he wants. I've been craving. Five Guys. Oh my gosh, I love Five Guys. You gotta get, like, the Cajun fries. I don't like the Cajun oh, fries. Oh no. Because the one time I use a condiment is with Five Guys fries. Ew. And I use ketchup. Gross. I hate ketchup. But yes, Five Guys burgers are delicious. Yeah. So I think that's what we're gonna get for lunch. If they're open. You have to go, like, more into Daytona, right? The one in the pavilion's not open anymore, right? Correct. But I'm basically there. I mean, yeah. See that? Oh, you guys can't see. I, I, again, with the tiniest amount of polish that I use, it still, like, floods the sidewall, so I have to clean that up a little bit. It's my fault. It's not. This is, this polish is just kind of a difficult consistency to work with, which is not... It's not all gelish. For some reason, this one gives me a harder time than other gelish polishes. But it's so pretty. Potatoes in like any form. Yes. I love potatoes. I love potatoes too, except I'm not really a mashed potato fan. What? Yeah. Which mashed like the potatoes. soup is appalled by that because that's like his favorite way to eat potatoes. I'm like, no, if I want potato, like I want crispy potatoes. I don't want like mushy mashed potatoes. Like, mashed gross. potatoes. Like gravy i grew up in potato country so like i'll eat raw potato Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys recommend to watch on netflix um well not on netflix but on hulu i've been watching the great i haven't seen it about it Catherine good? the great like i i it's very fictionalized i think okay. um but like I'm super into it. I'm I'm on the second season now, which I think is all there is, right? Have you guys seen it? Um, potato cakes. I just like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like potato cakes. I don't like, and it's because I'm allergic to dairy. Potatoes au gratin or cheesy potatoes. I mean, I like them. I just I can't eat them. Like um, I don't watch. TV. Like, are you lactose intolerant, or no. you have like an like an anaphylactic an anaphylactic oh. allergy? Who knew? But I love like, sour cream. <laughs> oh my god! That I mean, that can't be good for no, you. It's not. <laughs> um, what would I suggest on Netflix? The Queen's Gambit is probably Ooh, that is really good. One of my favorites. I've watched uh, it multiple times. Me too. It's just great. Can I mix the top and the base coat of Sandy Shellac with other gel brands? Here's the thing. Um, I am not like the one to give permission to do this, but like I do it. <laughs> the manufacturers say don't do that, but that's what works best for me because it keeps it keeps the soak off time down, which I personally think is like what keeps your client's nails the healthiest. When you have an easy soak off, you're gonna do, there's a lot less potential for damage to your client's nail plate. Um, because when it's really hard to get off, they end up just filing it, you know, or peeling it or whatever. Um, so I personally do use CND shellac top and base coat with other brands polish, even though you're not supposed to, but yes, I do it. 
Bridgerton. I have never watched Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Never. Bridgerton. I've never seen it. Um. Okay, so these are some pigment powders. These are additives. CND sent me these like years and years ago. I have a whole freaking closet full of them. Um, so we're gonna use a few of these to do our galaxy nails. Base and top coats. Base and top coat. So this is their regular, like their original base coat. The Express 5 top coat is what I use for glossy. I use this combination. I still use this base coat all the time, every time. I use this top coat if I want a glossy finish. I use this top coat if I want matte nails. This is by Luxa. CND does have a matte top coat as well, but I have never used it. I use the Luxa Velveteen matte top coat. Wattage lamp. Um, I would check your manufacturer's instructions for the polish you're using. I would say 36 men. Yes, we're in Florida. Too much. Too much talk. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> can I, like... You don't have to. I mean, she can leave or she'll get over us talking, I guess. Wow. Can you tell any stories about rude customers or, like, any weird experiences you've had? Um, I actually have been super lucky. I, I don't have a ton of those stories. Like, obviously, I have encountered rude people, um... But luckily for me, like, I've always been able to, like, weed them out and, like, not take bookings from them again. I had one one time who was super rude. Before I worked, like, by myself, I used to have a bigger salon. So I had other nail techs working with me. And one lady was super rude to, like, a nail tech that was working for me because she had seen like pictures of my work on social media. And so she just booked an appointment with the salon, not paying attention to who she booked with. And she ended up booking with this other nail tech that worked for me. And she was just like sassy the whole time about it. When she realized like she wasn't having her nails done by me, we offered to like reschedule her for some time that I had time to do her nails. Um, and she, you know, she didn't want that. She still had this other nail tech do her nails and she was like just mean to her the whole time. Um, she showed a design that was a picture of work that I had done. It was like posted on our social media and I had used decals to do that. Um, and so of course the other nail tech was going to use the same decals because that's the look she wanted. Um, and when the other nail tech pulled out these decals, this lady was like, oh my God, you're going to use stickers. Like you can't even hand paint it. And she was like, well, you know, the picture you showed us is a decal, but if you don't want that, like we can pick a different design. So she was just like super rude to this lady the whole time. And then um, once her nails were finished, she complained about them, complained to me about them. And I basically kicked her out and told her like, you can't come back here. I gave her money back. I was like, you, we just were not the salon for you. So that's kind of how I handle rude people. Like if that happens, like we're just not a good fit. There's no hard feelings about it. Just like don't come back. <laughs> the end. Own your salon. Yep. I work for myself. I'm the only one in my salon now. I did used to have a bigger salon with more people, but now I just work by myself. You like big city, Sandra. I live in a little town. It's quiet. Love it. So I just put those pigments onto the tacky layer of the polish and I'm covering them with some top coat so we can sponge on some gel polish too for a little bit more dimension in our galaxy nails. People suck. <laughs> like, no offense y'all, I don't like don't put that on. people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like most people. Yeah. Well, people suck. So the pigments I'm using, this one is medium green. These are the CND additives. And the other one is Rose Notion, in case anyone was wondering. I don't know if CND still, like, puts out these pigments. These were, like, PR kits that they had sent me years ago. Like, I literally have so many of them. Um, it's your prep and it depends like what you do too. Like my nails chip at the end all the time, but it's usually like after a week or so. Like I never have perfect nails when I come in. That's not true. It is so true. <laughs> 
Stop lying. I'm not lying. She's lying. We enjoy you watching our TikToks. Yeah, girl. Even though we're rude. We have so much fun. Sometimes, I mean, we're only rude when people are rude to us. Like, I don't know why people think, like, we, like, have to be nice when people are being mean to us. Because, like, we don't. <laughs> we're nice all the time until you're mean to us. And then we're going to be mean back. Where's the spongy sponge? Gray and photography said she cut her nails off. Oh, hey, girl. You picked your nails off? That's the first time she's ever picked her nails off, I feel like. Oh, Catherine. But she had to miss her last appointment. We had to reschedule. Um, so she's gone longer than usual. So, like, I, I picked mine off a little bit the other night. I stopped myself. But it, like, gets to a point where they're, like, too long. The corners are catching on things. And it's, like, a fucking problem. Um, so I'm sponging on a little bit of yellow for some dimension. This is sun bleached by C and D. My least favorite color is yellow, but that's okay. It's just a tiny bit. Like you won't even notice it. Sometimes I do it with white. Like it's worse than pink. Shut your freaking mouth. So my mom's, my mom's favorite color is yellow. And when I was a teenager, I used to drink a lot. And they painted the bathroom canary yellow. So when I would have a hangover and go throw up, not just like the bathroom anybody uses, but my bathroom. Um, and, put that one in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they painted the bathroom canary yellow, which is the worst hangover color in the fucking <laughs> history of life. I also sometimes will sponge on like a tiny bit of hot pink. Um, but it's such a, like, it doesn't come out looking hot pink. Like, you don't, it's just for dimension, cold heart. Kate, don't freak okay, out. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want you to yell at me so I don't pick them up. <laughs> That's a good plan. I never yell at anybody for picking their nails off. I did that one time called Jen a dumbass. You and yell people at got, me. well. That's different though. Yeah, I it that. is different. And like. <laughs> I couldn't, I could yell at Cold Heart Kate because she could take it. I could never yell at Catherine. She's like the sweetest person ever. We're not done. That's why she didn't do top coat yet. This is just dimension. This is just, you know, this is just stuff. Mm. So this is, I haven't used this one to do it before. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. This is uh, Holographic by CND. But, like, a tiny bit of pink sponged on, like, just gives it something. Yeah. Sometimes I will do this with a pink, like, shimmery pigment powder, too. You just need, you know, galaxy stuff. You know. You do. Cold Heart Kate is looking very skeptical. She is not into <laughs> that I'm using pink right now. Charlotte, you're lucky I love you. I did that once. One of my, the little one was like turning three or something. And I did these hot pink glittery, I had princess crowns on them. Aww. Like, I, they're lucky I love them. Okay, you can put that one in. Y'all, I'm tired. Cold Heart Kate, like, I was worried about this because she was so grumpy when she walked in. I was like, she's going to be so mean to people. I've been good. <laughs> you have been good. I'm very impressed with you. <laughs> you fucked up my Starbucks or after I sat in line for 45 minutes. I could never. 40 minutes. It was 40 minutes. Because the girl at the window decided she just wanted to tell everybody in line her life fucking story. I mean, I get it. I don't I care. Okay, so I am going to put some of Zillionaire on. A little bit of sparkle. This is like, can you guys see? Like, it's um the glitter particles. Like, it's not like round glitter. It's like octagony. It's like jagged pieces of glitter. I don't know. I just think it looks so pretty. And it's like holographic. Ugh, it's so cute. Okay. Um, is that light still on? No. Okay. 
sorry. I'm not paying attention. I feel like Kate is my twin, personality-wise. I'm a bitch. Are you a bitch like me? Because if you are, we could be friends. So even after I mix this, I have kind of an issue. Like, the particles, like, all settle to the bottom. So sometimes I will put, like, my orange wood stick in it and, like, scoop some out so I can get more, like, glitter payoff with this. My poor other half, like, I don't know how he... Deals with your ass? Deals with me. Why her nails don't look the best. Okay. I don't know. You're I'm, being a <laughs> see you next Tuesday. I'm like, just I'm bad at my job. I've been dealing with you. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to freak out about it. Um, if you don't like the nails, like, sorry. The end. Um, I method or jellish. Oh, P.S. Did you see? I posted it this morning because that's when I saw it when I woke up this morning. That, like, yes. my account is, like, under warning. Did I do the index finger um because so many of my videos have like been taken down why because I, i'm gonna do a video on it later to like explain um it's the see you next thursday thing so i stopped doing see you next thursday because people get so upset that they like report all my videos um so then tiktok thinks i'm harassing and bullying people even though like when i do see you next thursday I block their name and their picture and it's comments that they literally made. Like it's literally just screenshots of comments that they made. Like it's okay for them to post the comment, but I can't tell defend people that yourself. they posted the comment. I'm not even defending. Like I just literally posted a screenshot of what they said without their name or picture showing and TikTok like takes my videos down. And even like I've appealed some of them. And, like, they'll put the video back up because they realize I'm not violating any guidelines. But even, like, the ones that they've put back up, they've used as evidence to say that I'm repeatedly violating guidelines. I'm like, but you said I wasn't. <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. So I'm super annoyed by it. I'm going to make a video about it later. Her galaxy nails. They look so cute. I love them. We're going to uh, stamp some stars on them, too. Charlotte will be super excited. Go. Super excited. Okay, let's get a little stampy plate out. Thanks, guys. Rage is the best. We love you. What? I love you. No, she doesn't. She's lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm like trying to go through all my stamping plates to find some little stars and sparkles. I method or jellish. Both. Depends on the color. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna use like these little sparkles. Like probably not like the actual stars, but like the little sparkles. Um, unless you want the actual no. stars. Um, I like I method, I like jellish's formula better and it's much easier to soak off so if you're talking about like a, a full-on kit um i would buy a jellish kit um and i would use i method colors with jellish top and base coat same way i do it with uh cnd but the i method colors are really great and their formula as far as pigmentation is really great the only thing i don't like about it is that it's um more difficult to soak off So this is, sorry to interrupt, I know you're about to say something. This is the plate I'm using. I don't know if this was like a limited edition plate because I've tried to Google it since I got it and I haven't found it, but this is what it's called if you guys want this plate. I'm just going to use these like little sparkles. She has her workstation linked in her bio. There's a, like a little feed thing on top and she shows her workstation. Oh yeah, they do. Some stamping polish here. This is the Uber Chic stamping polish. Oops, sorry. That's my, hand. Um, my stamper is linked in my bio. You guys see I didn't move quick enough and I didn't get 
like a full like I didn't get a really good stamp of that image that's the question that people ask me all the time like it doesn't transfer or it doesn't fully transfer to my stamper it's speed you you have to do this part really quick and it also helps to use less pressure and like roll the stamper over the image instead of pressing yeah that so cute Yay! Sorry, I keep bumping your phone trying to get my brush. Okay. Do you have any easier designs for beginners? Pinterest. <laughs> stamping is super easy. I I mean, I think stamping is one of the easiest things you can do. Um, luckily, abstract designs are really in right now. <laughs> so, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with just like you know, stippling, polish, sponging it on like I did for part of that. Part of this design, I mean. Everybody loves these nails. They're so cute. Well, except that one girl. Kids are brutal. Well, that's what people are saying. <laughs> Say something now, Karen. I love these. Do you use special stamping gel? Sometimes it's linked in her bio. Um, so I don't use stamping gel. Gel polish doesn't stamp. There are... There are stamping gels, um, like this is a stamping gel polish. This is by Uber Chic, um, but just regular gel polish does not stamp. You can stamp with regular nail polish sometimes if it's pigmented enough. You can stamp with regular nail polish. I buy specific stamping polish. They're not gels. They're just regular polishes that are more pigmented. Why don't you hand draw the sparkles? Um, I, we're running out of time. Um, Chelsea is sitting in the parking lot waiting. So I hand paint some stuff, but if if there's a design that's going to look better, if I stamp it, then I will stamp it. Like, I don't, I don't need to hand paint it and have it look worse. Like, I want my client to get what they want. So I do whatever it takes to get the look we're going for. Me hand painting the sparkle would not look as good as the stamp. So that's why I don't do it. I will kind of fill in some spots of the stamp with just like white gel polish if it didn't like stamp fully. So I'm sure you guys see me doing that pretty frequently in my videos. Literally looks messy. The stamp isn't showing all the way though. Okay. Chill out. <laughs> I'm happy with her <laughs> process. So that's all that matters right now is the paying customer. Oh, man. Oh, hold on. I got to open the door. Poor Chelsea. Hey, we're TikTok. Do you want to say hi? I'll say hi. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, friends. Chelsea's here. <laughs> Sorry, we're running late today. Oh, yeah. So guys, we're going to end this live in a few minutes. So if you have any last questions or comments you want to get in, now would be the time. Chelsea, yeah. we just have top coat and then we'll be good to go. So you see like if there are parts of the stamp that didn't transfer fully, you could just restamp that, but I fill it in with a tiny little brush. Okay, you need to go. Bye, Felicia. What? <laughs> I'm in a mood today. So Kate, Kate has no patience for people. Yeah, you could. If you want to do your sparkles with the dot and pull method, you should totally do that. <laughs> Clearly, I like the way the stamp sparkles come out. So that's why I use the stamp. Okay, go ahead and put that one in. And, I like, think. everybody has different ways of doing things. So it's not even, like, thank you for um, defending me and saying I know what I'm doing, uh, which is true. I do know what I'm doing. But there are also many ways to do things. So if you want to use, like, a different method, feel free to do that on your client's nails. I was just about to say my nails look pregnant. Your nails look pregnant? <laughs> I guess so. But she corrected herself. <laughs> to what? Pretty. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. I guess we'll end this live. 
if you want to watch it it'll be on her youtube so follow her at the shimmer room on youtube yes i will upload the full video to my youtube when i get home later today thank you guys for watching bye bye Hold on. I can't end it until I stamp this. <laughs> so you guys got to hang on with me for a minute. <laughs> live with Chelsea, please. Oh, guys. Chelsea doesn't do lives. We we like to uh, talk and gossip during our appointment. So I'm real sorry about it. Cold Heart Kate is really nice to like give up her gossip time for a live. <laughs> not not everybody wants to do that i do my gossip time in the first like 10 minutes yeah okay. we we do gossip while i'm like soaking off her nails before we go live but we'll be back in two weeks unless something happens we promise maybe <laughs> just kidding you guys done pissed off cold heart kate today some people did like some people were fucking rude today Okay, go ahead and put that one in. Um, and I also like to use a little dotting tool and just do like a couple little dots too. I know I said we were leaving, but I just like to add like tiny little doop, 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 like that. Sound effect. Ooh, someone gave me flowers. That's so nice. Aww. Thank you. You're so sweet. Oh my god, they're so cute. I can't. It's really hot in here. Is it? Yeah, I'm like dying. It's really hot by the window in the morning. Okay, I love you guys. We're leaving. All I'm going to do is top coat and then they're done. I will upload this video to YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry we ran late today. Bye. Say bye, Cold Heart Kate. Bye. Say bye, Chelsea. Bye. <laughs> bye. How do I? I always forget how to end it.